Hey everyone, and welcome to Space Engineers Update Video 147. In today's update, we are releasing a new batch of bug fixes and improvements, but now we're going to reveal to you a new feature that's currently being worked on. So, let's hand it over to Lukash for the second episode of our Developer Diaries to talk about his work on the upcoming visual scripting. Hi, I'm Lucas. I'm part of the VRH team. You're working on the engine stuff for our games. And currently I'm working on a project that's called Visual Scripting. It's a support for general visual scripting for our engine and games. And it will allow us to create a lot more funny levels and um, scenarios. What Visual Scripting is, is that uh, it's a way for people without basic knowledge of programming to create uh, script logic and uh, it's done a visual way so I can show you uh, our basic implementation basic stuff that's uh, this tool that we created able to create for you and um, how it's done so basically we have there um, basic nodes that we implemented and some of them are interface nodes uh, that represents callbacks from the game engine that tell you for example that game started or update is going on or something and on the other side we have events that can be put there they're custom and uh, they can be filtered and they can re represent something like our entity entered a trigger and we can base the behavior on um, that information that we got. Uh, I have there a quick example of what you can quickly create and what this script is actually doing. There we have a level and uh, we have an oxygen generator highlighted. This is the script what he's doing when the level starts. I will grab quickly some ice we can put into the oxygen generator. When you come close, the oxygen generator will tell us that he's generating oxygen, obviously. So I will put there ice. We will detect that, and message will pop up. That's the first part what we can do with the scripting. We can take a look in the script logic, and it will um, basically tell us what just happened. In the update, you are just taking a look at if the entity has inventory, um, in the inventory the or and then we highlight it uh, something else and put their notification right now if I go into the oxygen room something similar will happen there's an air vent it vents air and that's just it for our simple demonstration of the scripting itself um, we have also uh, implemented the uh, state machine for our missions. Later on it will control all the uh, mission logic for um, our missions and campaigns. It looks like that. Um, it's just simple transitions between the states. Every single state has a script and the script can look like that. Or it really doesn't matter anything that designer can come up with. So, this is for the visual scripting part. It will probably bring you some interesting behavior in our um, new scenarios. Everything should be fully moddable, so uh, modders will be able to create their own campaign or even game modes like Deathmatch or something based on that. It will have full dedicated server support and I hope it will be fun. I can't wait to see this feature in the hands of our community as I know that people will create some really interesting scenarios and missions. But that's everything for now guys. Please head over to the forums if you're interested in the list of bug fixes, tweaks and improvements going out in this update. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you liked the video and as always, don't go for the loot if there's no oxygen in your suit.